Sometimes you think you're going to be camping in a yurt. And then sometimes the campground's sewage system fails. We are the learners and makers. We had been wanting to explore how we could extend our camping season. We finally were able to reserve a yurt at a campground on the Oregon coast here. The last time we'd been camping in a yurt, I was very pregnant with Aster, so it had been a while. Yeah. And we just felt like the kids would really enjoy it and it would be a fun way to spend a little bit of our spring. I have never been so thankful that we had the camper because it was really easy for us to just switch plans get we the camper ready got the camper mm -hmm. ready which we weren't expecting to do but um you know it's now ready for our camping season and it really wasn't that different no the way things worked out we actually wound up getting a camper space at a campground just a little farther south from where we were already planning to go even though we had to go to a different campground as these things often do with travel it worked out for the better we're at the Bullards Beach State Park campground just north of Bandon Oregon which is a favorite spot of ours that we have been longing to spend more time in and now here we are Bullard's Beach is a state park and the Oregon state parks are actually really nice and easy to stay in. Um, we can extend our stay here through the shoulder seasons partially because we have electric and water hookups. So it makes it much easier for us to weather the cold weather. <laughs> you can tell we're nicely bundled up um, overnight and just um, just make it just a little bit easier to camp in the season where normally being in a tent would be kind of tricky. Yeah, doable, but this definitely makes it easier for us to camp with the kids especially and just have plenty of options depending on the weather. This time, one of the highlights for us was going to the Face Rock viewing point. Face Rock scenic viewpoint, something yeah. like that. Yeah, and um, we went because we thought maybe we would catch the very beginning of the gray whale migration. There haven't really been gray whale sightings yet this year, so 
by the time you see this, it's probably happening, but we missed it just by a little bit, but it didn't matter because it was gorgeous. Instead, we got to see these massive rocks just packed with nesting seabirds. So many birds on these things. It looked like, I don't know, like looking at a sunflower full of seeds. It was amazing how many birds there were. So there's always something. Jody and I first came to Bandon when we started dating, and we have been enthralled with the area ever since. It has a really cute downtown right on the waterfront. There are these incredible rock formations, some of the best on the entire Pacific Coast as far as I'm concerned. You've got bird watching, throughout the year you have whale watching. There is just such a wonderful mix of scenery and coastline and just a really cool area where you could easily just stay and stay and stay and explore and explore and explore. everyday adventures you can find us on instagram at learners and makers you can also follow our videos on youtube be sure to subscribe to our channel and ding that bell so you get notified whenever we drop a new video and also check out our family travel blog at learnersandmakers.com we'll be sure to be including more details about what we did what we saw and where to go in this area on our blog that's right so we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> hey, Connor. To follow our everyday adventures, find us on Instagram. Find us at Leaf Blower. Do you want to turn it off again? <laughs> <laughs>